Welcome to the second part of today's two-part special vlog and in this part I head back into Central Park and up the Empire State Building. Enjoy! So that building right there might look quite familiar to some of you movie buffs. It's quite a big film where Will Smith walks in and then goes into the lift the front lobby. This is the building. How cool is that? Men in Black. What a film. <laughs> Check out this big truck trying to levitate around this tight corner. It's already squished a corn under there going around the corner. God, I want to drive one of them around New York. Jesus. Right, look how tight you had to make that turn then. What a turn. <laughs> so I'm now on the up on up off bus and I'm gonna have a ride on this until I feel like I need to jump off and see something and then jump back on again. Save my feet for some from a lot of walking today. <laughs> sunshine beaming off that top of that building there look at the rays there it looks beautiful just beaming off the glass window there take a look at that next to that beautiful blue sky that is what I like to see gorgeous so I just jumped off the bus there and I'm gonna explore Midtown New York, this part, this part of New York that I haven't been to yet, where um, Elle's Kitchen is. So I'm gonna go and have a look at Elle's Kitchen. Then, because the weather is so nice today, I mean, look at that sky. Why couldn't it have been like this yesterday? Um, I'm gonna go back to Central Park and do the other part of Central Park that I didn't actually walk around and then jump back on the bus and go back downtown again. <laughs> Oh my days, I feel so much better. The sun is shining on my skin, it's warm. I've not got some heavy bag hanging off my back. So, because I left my blades at home today, which I could have bought some actually to skate around, but nevertheless, I didn't want to bring my bag out and carry it around with me for the third day running. I just wanted to relax and enjoy myself today and even though my feet are absolutely killing from all the walking I'm happy because it's sun shining and this is exactly the weather that I love and that I crave all the time be doing can't be doing with the rain that we I had yesterday just cannot be doing with it <laughs> So I'm back at Central Park yet again on this beautiful day. It is super busy, unlike yesterday. Just I jumped in a taxi from um, the Elves Kitchen area and come up here in a taxi. And I'm gonna have another stroll through the park on this beautiful sunny day. I did actually ask the taxi driver to drop us off at the opposite side of Central Park because I've actually done this side of Central Park and I wanted to do the other side so I got asked to drop off, be dropped off there however he dropped us off at the side that I've done so I'm going to have to take a long walk to the other side again <laughs> See, this is what I like seeing a park full of people there's people flying kites people sitting down enjoying themselves just genuinely people out enjoying the sunshine rather than it being dead and no one being here I'm just heading over here now because some music blurring so let's go and see what's going on over here I don't know what 
this is in there that I've got. There's a lot happening here, a lot of people, a lot of stuff going on. Lots of police, it looks like some sort of police ceremony or something of some sort. <laughs> so I've just gone to get a bottle of coke and he wanted four dollars. Four dollars for a bottle of coke. I paid three dollars for a hot pretzel the other day. I mean four dollars, what that, four dollars, what that, three pound or something for a bottle of coke. There's no way I'm paying that. I thought it would have been like a dollar, maybe two, but four dollars for a bottle of coke. I don't know if these pop up like vent, um, concession stands in middle of century park so yeah i can't talk middle of century park they sort of set their own prices or whatever but four dollars for it. i mean a woman stood in front of me she got about four bottles of pop and it came to about 14 dollars and i thought god how much are they each so yeah it's a bit expensive that it looks like well right? look at those ones that actually come out of the water to say hello and this is where I was yesterday, but actually at the other side when I come out of the museum. Oh, it's always been waiting to be fed, waiting for food. I was looking forward to coming to this part of the park, the Belvedere Castle, which has also been starred in a few films. Um, but it's under construction right now, which I'm a bit gutted about, so I wouldn't have minded a few pictures from up there. So there's some sort of theatre production going on here, and yet there is so many people queuing for it. Like, the queue goes all the way down there, as you can see, for just that. So I don't know what kind of show it is, but it must be popular. Do you know what I am thinking of doing when I get to the other side of the park because it is such a very very long walk and I've already done this walk like twice now I might jump on a bike at the other side and ride it up ride it back through and drop it off at the other side Look, lots of people riding through on the bike such a popular thing to do either skates or a bike so what why not jump on a bike and ride from one side to the other it'd be a hell of a co co lot quicker than walking and it'll save my feet the hassle and the pain <laughs> so this is something that i didn't manage to get to yesterday the big central reservoir look how huge it is it's massive very picturesque as well just been chatting to another photographer who is actually out in New York on business. Um, he actually lives in China, of all places, and China uh, sent him to New York to take a, picture, a couple of pictures of a product of theirs so um, they can sell it. And yeah, he's just shown me a few of his pictures and yet again, another great photographer. Again, give me his website, so I'm gonna check him out and have a look. So yeah, I like seeing all different kinds of photographers and all different kinds of photography. Um, and getting ideas and things like that is just yeah <laughs> gives me gives me gives me inspiration let's put it that way oh my god i so wish i had my swimming costume on me right now oh how nice does that water look down there that just oh my god i could go because it's it is so warm and hot today and nice I could go for a nice refreshing dip. What a beautiful little pool. <laughs> it's funny, all bikers are riding past me here and coming zooming down this hill on the bike and then they're going, oh look a swimming pool, oh whoa. So you can tell which ones are the tourists and which ones are actually from New York because they just dash past and not bother but the tourists slow down and have a look and oh it's a swimming pool. <laughs> oh probably having the same idea as me that they could go for a refreshing dip right now. <laughs> 
Now this is a pretty little bit of the park. Very, very pretty. Come across some very nice places walking through Central Park, but there are some that are really, really nice. Nice scenery. Nice arches, nice rivers. So I've walked so far around this Central Park that I don't know how far I've walked, but my feet are killing me. So I've only gone and rented a bike. <laughs> what a way to get around the park, just ride around it on a bike. It's such a good way. But honestly, I thought I was at the other end of the park and somehow I've ended up back into the middle of the park somehow. Don't know how I got here like, but you know, <laughs> such a confusing park. That's right, the heavens have opened up once again. I mean, you saw how nice and glorious it was. I had a wonderful, wonderful walk through Central Park. And then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna jump on a bike, hire a bike and ride around a bike for a bit and then yeah, and go and enjoy the Empire State Building. And I am soaked top to bottom. Absolutely. Even with this, I got this off the bus, the hop on up off bus. And even with this, I'm just soaked. Can you hear the thunder? I'm just soaked to the bone. And yeah, yet again, I don't know what to do. But this time, actually, it's quite refreshing and quite cold, cool. After, I mean, after that scorching heat and walking around, I was so hot. I needed something to cool me off, so I'm actually not bothered, but yeah, I'm just a little bit on the wet side now. <laughs> it made me jump. I don't like it. I've got the subway app, um, and that tells you, like, shows you the lines and stuff like that, but still confusing. Well, I want to, I don't, I don't, it's not Grand Street. Oh my days, I've just heard the loudest bangs ever. I mean, literally, it made me jump out my skin. I mean, like, louder than a million fireworks going off. It was that loud. Honest to God. I'm going to keep recording and see if I hear some more, but I think they've died down a little bit now. But this weather, this weather is just, oh, oh, did you see the lightning? Guys, I was that wet and that cold and I had to come back to hotel for a nice, warm, hot shower. And not only that, I was so desperate to get back to the hotel because I was just freezing, like literally shivering soaked to the bone I had to get a taxi however I was stood on the edge of the road waiting for a taxi and an Uber pulled up beside me and said do you want a taxi love and I says how much would it be to you and he says oh jump in jump in so I jumped in if he had told me how much it would have been before I jumped in I probably wouldn't have got in well saying that I would I kind of would have because I kind of think well I'm going home tomorrow so what and, it, and I was that desperate but it cost me fifty dollars fifty dollars from uptown to downtown fifty dollars for a flipping uber and it i i, I definitely think it me up and he dropped me off in the wrong frigging place as well so i should have knocked some money off for that but however i was just i just didn't care because i was that wet and that cold so like i say i've come back to hotel got wet uh, got wet got, <laughs> see i've got wet on the mind got a nice warm shower got dry and i'm going to go back out again and make the most of my night tonight and as you guessed it everything in my bag once again completely and utterly soaked and yeah so that's the uh, photographer's website that i met today um but i'm gonna have to copy try and copy that down before the water washes it away but yeah there it is, the Empire State Building. I am going up it. A bit later than what I'd planned to do. I really wanted to go up it and see the sun go down, really. But however, with the weather today and having to go back to hotel, 
I've got here a bit late but nevertheless I'm still going to go up there and whilst I'm up there I'm going to try and do my first live broadcast but I don't know how that's going to go so let's see well we are inside the Empire State Building at the bottom in the lobby and this is the fine entrance The nice big statue here. Nice. See those hot rivets flying through the air? Nice catch! Whoa! Get those planks out of the way, huh? Hey, watch it! Hey, fuck it! You're gonna ride that thing all day! Do something useful! Will you? All right, they're coming up to the 80th floor. We're headed to the top of the Empire State Building, right here in the heart of New York City. So we are now at the 86th floor of the Empire State Building and if I can get close to one of these windows which it doesn't look like I will be able to oh speak of the devil look how beautiful it is Check this out, King Kong. How cool is that? It's the One World Trade Center on the other side. <laughs> looking at it from downtown now. At the top of there, looking up at the Empire State Building, and now I'm looking down. And look how magnificent it looks. Stunning. Absolute stunning. See, unlike the One World Trade Centre, doing it here, you can see directly outside. We are outside so we, we don't get the glass reflection, which is much, much better. That's why I've decided to go live and do this. For the sake of that, how stunning. The One World Trade Centre through a telescope. Can you see that? How cool is that? That is exactly what I'm looking at right now. But through the eye of a telescope. <laughs> and then you can hold the other side so that yeah. way. This is also pretty cool as well. Ready? It's like a big colourful <laughs> clock. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I can't get over how gorgeous it is. I swear I could live up here. Can you imagine living up here and then just opening your curtains to see that every day? I mean, how amazing would that be? I don't think I'd ever leave my apartment. I'd just stay in it all day, staring at this. It's just beautiful. Let's go and have a walk around the other side, shall we? Well, what a disappointment. It doesn't look like I can go live after all. Gutted. Every time I try and click on go live, it, it just says try again, try again. And then also it said for some reason my channel can't live stream so I'm going to have to look into that a little bit further so yes we're a little bit disappointed with that. I was hoping to do my very first live broadcast from top of here but never mind. One last 
shop before I go because I'm absolutely freezing cold up here and after today being wet and cold I just want to be in my nice warm bed now there is the Chrysler building over there So now I'm exiting the building and this is the hallway of all the people who've been up the Empire State Building, celebrities and whatnot. See anybody that you like on here? Anybody that you know? Simpsons! I'll get that from my brother and Rebecca. Visited on a foggy day. Very cool. Well, that's me all packed up and ready to go home. I'm gonna cry. I want to go. Bye, room. You've done me good for the last few days. What a comfy bed that was. Absolutely enjoyed staying here. I'm just waiting outside my old town now for the transfer to the airport. I'm a bit early, but however, they don't like call upstairs, you know, to reception. You have to come down and wait because if they don't see you there, they'll drive off. So I'd rather just stand here and wait for them with time to spare than um, come because I don't know whether they're going to come early or whether they'll come late. So I'm sad that I'm leaving. I've had fun, but. It's home time. So as you can see I'm at the airport and I'm on a transfer from the airport to the plane. I never understand these little transfers. It's like either the plane pulls up to the airport and you jump straight on the plane or you have to get on one of these little silly buses to go about two seconds to get onto your plane. Here we are. Thomas Cook aeroplane. So that was about two minutes that we could have walked. <laughs> oh well, about to board the plane. God, my feet have just absolutely blown up like blimmin' balloons. They're so swollen and sore. That's where right, I'm back home. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to sleep now for a week and not get out of bed and do a thing because my feet have just had just about enough. But... I've had an incredible time in New York. Definitely will go back there again sometime. Definitely. And maybe next time I might take Rebecca if she, when she's a little bit older because I think at the minute it'll probably be too much for her to take. But amazing, amazing place. Anyway, I really, really, really hope you've enjoyed these New York vlogs. If you have, please leave a massive thumbs up, share and subscribe. And until the next time... Bye. <laughs>